Had someone reach out to me today and ask, hey, is now a good time to be investing new money into the stock market? I think we've all been wondering that question. I've got my response here in just a minute. Thanks for being here today. This is your next Wise Step video for today, Wednesday. My name is Mike Bernard. I am the host of the Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners here at Corhorn Financial Group. And let me just remind you, if you are new to this channel, you've got to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe right here. This is your source for your next wise step. During this crisis, there's all sorts of questions, confusion, a lot of misinformation. Honestly, I dealt with this morning around the CARES Act. Folks that are not clients reached out with a question and to a friend of theirs who is a client, then they reached out to me and they were way off course. So this is your source for wise financial information helping you take your next wise step. So subscribe, turn on, turn on notifications so that each and every day as I give you this update and then every weekend as we release a new wise money show, you're notified and give me that thumbs up. That does help other people find this page. Thank you very much. Okay, so is now the time to be investing new money into the stock market? And actually the question came to me almost like, hey, Stocks are at a bargain, right? So now is the time I'm supposed to be investing. And I would just also say, if you're not watching the markets really closely, as of the time I am recording this video, the stock market is up 20% from its lows two weeks ago. Did you hear me? That is insane. The stock market's up 20% in two weeks. Um, the stock market, from the beginning of the year, as of right now, is only down 15%. It's almost like the stock market is behaving that this isn't this awful recession, that I didn't see a headline today that said only a third of tenants, or excuse me, that a third of tenants did not pay their rent in for April. I mean, that it, like there's, there's a miss here. There's something amiss here. So anyway, but it's re it, regardless of this, this daily report, should you be investing new money right now? And the answer is absolutely. Without even worrying about, hey, do, will, will these people that aren't paying rent, will that create this big problem in the marketplace and stocks go down in the economy? You don't even need to worry about that. Here's how you know. If it's long-term money, you need to be investing right now. You need to be investing right now if it's long-term money because you're likely investing on sale and if you don't need the money for 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 years, odds are there's only been a couple times that the stock market's been down after 10 years. I believe there's never been a time where the stock market's been down after 15 years. So if this is long-term money, you don't need to pay attention to the headlines. Keep investing keep investing into the stock market with new money. If this is short-term money and you're just trying to make a quick buck because you think stocks are low and things are rebounding, so I wanna, I wanna get in on the action, I would be very, very careful. It's very possible that this coronavirus, that the actual spread is plateauing. We are reaching a peak, it's, that's very possible. It's possible we've got a vaccine on the horizon, that's very possible. And it's also possible that the third stimulus was so big that it put in a floor in the economy and that the fourth and fifth stimulus that are rumored will actually help us and the stock market will never go back down to retest these lows during this drop. I hope that's true, we just don't know that. If it, if, so if you've got short-term money, I'd be very, very cautious about trying to make a quick buck. And uh, I would have short-term money invested in short-term instruments, such as bank accounts, money markets, CDs, maybe, maybe, maybe very low-risk short-term bonds. And then, of course, if it's medium-term money, hey, I don't need it in the next three years, but I probably need to get my hands on it before 10 years, so maybe five or six years I probably need this money. That's a little more tricky. Um, because if this economic downturn is as difficult as what everyone seems to expect, or if, you're, if you look at the very little economic data that's come out, it certainly looks like this is an awful economic uh, downturn here, then it's really a question of has the Fed done enough and have they proven that they're willing to do whatever it takes that in, you know, that the stock market's gonna be back up and we'll be in the recovery mode within five to six years. I think that's the case, 
but, uh, but it's hard to tell. So for your midterm money, for your intermediate term money, I would have a balanced approach. And once again, I'd make sure some of that is in a momentum strategy and a dynamic strategy, just in case we do keep soaring here. And then all of a sudden we see how bad the economy really is and, and go back down. So, um, so yes, the answer is always keep investing your long-term money. Always keep investing your long-term money. And right now I think you are buying on sale. But are you buying on sale for short-term money? I don't know. And no one does. Anyone who says that they do know is lying. So I would once again answer that question based on when do you need the money? Make sure that you've got an investment strategy that's appropriate for that time horizon. All right, if you don't have the right investment strategy or you're unsure, I mean, now's, now's the time when you wanna have clarity and confidence with your investment strategy. If you need help with that, you need a second opinion, uh, contact your certified financial planner. We can't help everyone, but if you do need some help, you don't have a CFP, you can certainly contact our firm. You can find us online at corehorn.com. That's corehorn with a K. You can email us at info at corehorn.com and or you can give us a call 574-247-5898. All right, until tomorrow, my name is Mike Bernard. Now go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.